Hi there, this is Corina from Atelier Miko and today I'll show you how to do a 3D painting for a high-end result with minimal effort. The things we used are canvas, wire mesh, gauze or plaster bandages, wood glue, beads, needle and thread, joint compound, sandpaper and varnish. You'll need a canvas, make sure it's made out of cotton and the wood frame is really strong. Then you'll need the wire mesh. Make sure that the dimension of the wire mesh is two times bigger than the canvas so you can make really nice waves. First, I pin one side of the mesh on the back of the canvas and then I start to model it. So the wire mesh can stay on the canvas, you'll need to sew it. You can start to sew some parts of the wire mesh on the canvas based on the model that you'd like to create. And this is the model that I've created. Next step is to add medical gauze or plaster bandages on the painting. So for this painting I'm using medical gauze and I'm applying it with a wood glue. The reason why you should use medical gauze or plaster bandages is to create a thin layer before adding the joint compound.
And now it's time to add the joint compound, mixing only the powder with the water. Now fill the painting with the joint compound. I'm using my hands so I can spread it quite in a short time. Make sure you spread it all over the canvas and don't worry if it doesn't look amazing on the first layer. You will apply two more layers after that. After you finish, make sure you let the first layer dry for at least 24 hours. After the joint compound dried, you can start sanding the painting. Make sure you do it with long moves and maybe circular moves around some corners. There are more types of sandpaper. For the first layer, I would suggest to use a rough one. For the second layer, I would suggest to use maybe a less rough sandpaper and for the last layer to use a really soft sandpaper to get a really nice final texture. Thank you. 